Newsmakers Extra, Congressman Dan Crenshaw. I got a couple of minutes here left over. Uh, Congressman, um, we talked about the border a little bit. Um, biggest concerns locally for you right now. What do you focus on now to help the constituents in your district? We're making sure everybody's getting recovered um, from the freeze. You know, some people are still getting their pipes fixed. Uh, we were putting out guidance on look, to make sure you don't get scammed on, on some of these things. Um, I'm on the Energy and Commerce Committee now. So, you know, tomorrow we're going to have a ERCOT is coming up here to, to have a hearing. And there's going to be a fight with Democrats on should the federal government immediately take over ERCOT? And um, there's really no evidence to suggest that that would have helped at all. And I think that will be the outcome of the hearing. Um, if it, if, if, if so, so Lizzie Fletcher sponsored a bill to have the federal government take over the Texas electrical grid. If that happens, your energy prices are going up. Uh, we're gonna have to build massive amounts of new power lines to connect us with different states and you're not gonna get much from it, okay? Let's keep in mind that uh, Oklahoma lost power, Louisiana lost power, the woodlands just north of uh, just north of Houston it isn't actually on ERCOT, it's on, um, it's, it is regulated by FERC, they, they lost power just like everybody else. So. Um, look, we, we've got to protect our electrical grid. We've got to improve it. And we've been doing a lot of research, making sure that the, the improvements get made, um, that, that slight tweaks get made so that we never see this again. So I think that's what's on Texans' minds right now. So uh, here's what I hope. I uh, hope the next time we get together and talk, you'll uh, be ready to tell me about how many times you guys held hands across the aisle with the Democrats and made some real progress, sang some verses of Kumbaya and everything was just coming up roses. That's what I'm looking for. You know I'm eternally optimistic about that kind of stuff, Congressman, so I'm hoping yeah. that'll happen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I'm one of the most bipartisan members in the Texas delegation, just to, according to the stats on, on how often I co-sponsor bills with, with Democrats, but I'm in the minority. Uh, you know, and this has to be said. I. I I, the Democrats are in charge at every level. They need to reach out to us because right. we have no power. All right, we're look. I, the hand is out, right? The, the, the hand is out. Just, just, just find something we can work on. I and mean, I told you about that amendment that was struck down, and that was that should have been a, an easy Texas amendment. It, it, I'll tell you one member who is constantly putting his neck out there to be bipartisan. That's Henry Cuellar. I have co-sponsored multiple bills with him just in the last week. And like as originals co-sponsors that, you know, so let me just give a shout out to Democrat Henry Cuellar. All right. Well, that's a start. That's the first verse of Kumbaya. I like that. Thank <laughs> you, sir. I appreciate it. Be safe, sir. We'll talk to you around the corner. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.